Hey everybody, uh, we're about to go on a little adventure here. A couple years ago, I heard what I thought were spring peeper frogs in uh, late September, early October. I would hear them at night, and especially in the evening, and then through the night I would hear them, just isolated events. And I was like, why? You know, I didn't really think much of it. I thought maybe the frogs are a little confused or something. So uh, I heard them a couple nights ago, and I was like, what's going on? Why am I hearing frogs in the fall? So I Google searched actually that. Why do I hear frogs in the fall? And I learned that it's, it's not frogs. It's actually migrating birds, which I thought was so fascinating because they have a song that they, a little thing, a little chirp they do while they're migrating. Maybe it's communication uh, with each other while they're migrating to, to stay in communication and to keep contact with each other. I'm not sure. I'm still learning. But every bird has its own little distinct chirp. Birds are such an iconic sound of spring and summer, and they stop chirping very abruptly. They stop singing their songs in mid-August. That's always kind of a sad thing for me because it means, you know, well, yeah, summer's over, unfortunately, and the season's changing and winter's coming. Uh, but when I found this out, it was comforting. It's beautiful. We're gonna go listen to some birds here, their subtle little migration songs. So we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna hook up this uh, road video mic to the zoom field recorder, put it on high sensitivity, and uh, we're gonna listen to some birds. Let's go. See you later. This is gonna be fun. So today is September 30th. You can hear it's, it's a very warm day, or it was a very hot day today, so you can hear some true Katie dids, lots of crickets. All the insects are very alive because of how warm it is. So here we go. I'm excited about this, guys. We're just going to cruise around. I have to make sure that I have my headphones here so I can monitor what I'm hearing through the road video mic into the field recorder. Sure. This is my setup for making films and we'll start recording in three, two, one. Hello. You can just hear uh, how loud that is and how sensitive it is. So I'm just going to be holding the mic kind of out the window like this and we're going to drive through some wooded areas and uh, hopefully we'll catch some birds. I think we will. There'll be some crickets. I'm pointing the camera, I'm pointing the microphone out the window here. This is really cool. Okay, here we go. I actually have a sunroof on this car, so if I hear some of the peeping migrating birds straight overhead, all I need to do is just point the microphone straight up through the sunroof. So we're gonna turn right. <laughs> Why do I need to say that? Who cares? So these are true Katie dids right here. The ch -ch 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 -ch. Probably looks so sketchy right now. <laughs> Up here on the top of the hill, I heard some right over here. Right here. So let's see if we can hear them again. So that was that was uh, either one or two migrating birds. We just captured some on, on the uh, on this mic for sure. Oh, that was so cool. So I don't know what kind of birds those are. I have no idea. But uh, they're songbirds. They're they're the beautiful singing birds that you hear during the summer. And when they're migrating, they do not sing. They strictly do that little peep, which is so awesome. So we're gonna go straight here. Actually, we're gonna go. We're gonna go left. This, this is, I'm telling you, such a weird sensation. Having this, I can, I can hear everything. <laughs> I can hear a jet passing overhead. Going out the right window here. That buzzing you just heard was a conehead Katie did. Okay, so there is kind of a little marshy area 
down here on this road and uh, there aren't a lot of houses so we'll just be able to stop without worrying about somebody coming out and oh, bothering me really. the tail end of a couple of peeps. I think I'm going to turn around because this is just open fields over here and uh, I don't think we would hear much of anything as far as migrating birds goes. I could be wrong. I am I'm learning about all this stuff reading a lot of online forums. Check out the link in the description. I put a couple of really awesome articles well-written articles about the songs that migrating birds sing so make sure you check out uh, a couple of links in the description for those articles so i'm turning around and i'm headed back west back to the place where we just heard a couple of little uh, peeps I'm slowing down going out the right window here you could hear some really far off in the distance That was pretty good. That was about the closest one we got. How you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thinks I'm nuts. But that is uh, something that's gonna happen when you're going out and you are making videos, when you're vlogging or whatever. People are gonna see you and they're gonna think you're crazy. But you know why you're doing what you're doing, so. Which side was that on? I don't know. Cool. That's not awesome. They sound to me. They sound just like spring peeper frogs. Let's we'll see if we can't get uh, a few more on the way back home here. I'm pretty happy with the results. I wasn't expecting that we would hear so many of them. So, like I said earlier, um, I just love those. It's just off the beaten path stuff. That's the best way I can explain it. Off the beaten path things in nature little subtle things that are so far off it's everyone's everyday routine that it's things that we notice when we're children when we're little but we, we notice them and we're intrigued and we want to know what it is i'm trying to get back into that mentality of that childhood curiosity that makes the world go around I, as far as i'm concerned to me it's comforting though i was kind of touching on this earlier it's comforting to know that the birds are still there they're just not singing they're passing through. They're still there. I've really grown to, to, to love birds. <laughs> sounds kind of funny to say that, but it's true. Alright. Here's where we first heard, heard them in this video. Goosebumps, man. Whew. 
Yes! That is what I wanted you guys to hear. Whew. The best of all, those birds must have been within 20 or 30 feet of, of me in my car. Oh, I'm so glad. It feels so good to capture something like that. Migrating birds through the night. Uh, current time is 12.01 a.m. And wasn't that a beautiful thing, guys? Check out those articles, please. We'll not be disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you like stuff like this, random drives through the night, with a microphone in your hand, and people sitting on their porch staring at you like you're a moron. If you like stuff like that, hit that subscribe button because there's a whole lot more of that coming. Believe me. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Wow, that was a long video.